channels. What the idea is we want to make all the content and the contacts of the customers that the, the, um, the owner of the tablet have very, very accessible for them, make it a very personal experience. So you see here we've got all the Twitter feeds, um, uh, Last FM, what their friends are listening to, their mail, yeah. all displayed on the panel. Is here something new compared to iPad? Or is it is here something new, really new compared to iPad? Or is it more pr pretty much same than uh, iPad, but uh, with so, the different OS? So on iPad, you know, you have the typical grid of applications, right? Yes. So that's not what we're aiming for with this tablet user interface. We actually want to have it. You know, like a dashboard of everything that's on your tablet. Mm -hmm. Very easy to get yeah, to stuff. It's task oriented versus task -oriented. app oriented. Yeah, it's content oriented, user oriented, yeah. user oriented. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and everything's got context sensitive menu. So you, you hold your finger down, you get a list of options to do. Um, this information in this panel is dynamically updated. So if you look, you see you know these Twitter feeds are coming in in real time. Six minutes ago, five minutes ago, three minutes ago, you know they they, they keep coming in. Spam. Yeah, <laughs> spam. <laughs> so, how do you see who will be the key OEMs for Mego tablets? So I can't comment on unreleased products. I know, but uh, <laughs> no. But what what is your guess? Who will be the guys? Focusing to Mego in tablets. So we're working with several OEMs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Daniel, do you want to comment any further um, than that? I think it will be fire if I say that. Okay. But you can you can be sure that it's one it's going to be one of the top OEMs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>